Mercedes, you gon' get that gift from me. Oh, I couldn't buy your favorite, favorite Louis bag. Oh, baby girl, just take this kiss from me, kiss from me. I couldn't buy your favorite dress you like to wear. Don't give up on me. You keep standing, girl, I'll be right there. Now my phone is ringing. Hey, girl, that's my job.
yeah. See, somebody tired of me saying that, but I love you. So this is my mixed media, what do you call this thing? <laughs> oh my gosh, Peacock, that's what I'm thinking of, right? Crazy girl. But um, I just wanted to take a small little break because I was super happy with this piece, but it's been kind of calling to me for me to outline um, the feathers a little bit. Um, I do like um, that I added some collage to it. I like that it's not just paint. Um, and it's really a beautiful piece and it would be fine just like this. And I did take a scan of it like this. Um, so I would always have that, but, um, it definitely is telling me that it needs more. So, um, I love how detailed peacock feathers are, um, that they kind of have that black and that outline on them. So I think that that's what this needs. Um, I love everything else. I really do. I love just the color and the wet and how beautiful um, everything is turning out. And I'm not going to outline the peacock or anything like that. I just want to do the feathers and maybe a few feathers in here too, just to add a little detail. My mom totally dis disagrees, but I've been like, I put it away because I did this piece a couple weeks ago and I've just been contemplating it. And I suggest that sometimes we do that. Some I didn't seal it or anything because I thought that it needed something. Um, so sometimes we have to listen to our voice and I don't know how it's going to turn out. Maybe I'll completely wreck it. Um, but I just feel my intuition is telling me that, um, that I need to add black to it. So that's basically what I'm going to do. And I'm telling you this because, um, maybe sometimes you see us artists making 
canvases and that kind of thing and you're like well you know how do they know when to stop when to add things um how do they know all the answers but i'm telling you that this sit for two weeks and i don't have all the answers but um i just know um that for me it needs black and it needs something else so i'm gonna work on that i'm gonna stop talking and um, we're gonna see how it turns out if it's horrible then i have a print of it and that's okay too um but i love the colors and i just love this anyway <laughs> okay so i'm gonna do that so hi guys tuned. so it's Watch. all done and i'm sorry my computer totally stopped working so i wasn't able to show you the actual process of me tracing everything out but it's really simple i just tuck my pilot multi-ball pin it's permanent so it's fine and um i just traced around the outer edges of the of the feathers and then i traced around the little parts where i put the purple or the paper on so I did that very easily. Yeah. So that's it. And then I was not going to add any of the black here, but I'm glad that I did. So I just made little little um, feathers here. I just kind of outlined the feathers here. So it's a really fun piece. I really love it. I think it's really beautiful. Um, I'm totally kind of obsessed with it. I'm definitely going to make another one, maybe one bigger. And um, it was just a really fun process. Um, I was inspired by... Heather from the Craft Shack, and I'll put a link below. Um, she did hers all in paint, but I wanted to do mine kind of mixed media style. I didn't add any stamping just because I don't think that it needed it. Um, that wasn't kind of the look that I was going for, but I am very glad that I put the black in it because it just kind of brought everything alive. Like you really see the feathers now, um, and they have texture and dimension. And when I traced around, I just have to show you, like, none of it's straight. Like, the lines are very, very scribbly, um, which I don't like. I can't outline to save my life. So this kind of art fits me very well. So it's great. And I do want to show you, like, on the edges, I did go down off the edges. And I think that's important. It just kind of continues. It draws your eyes, and it makes your eye kind of finish the picture of what of whatever canvas you're creating so that's always one of my tricks so it's really fun this is a really fun project um for my patrons i will have a free printable for you guys um or traceable um so you can trace this and kind of make your own version that was kind of the hardest part was that i sketched this by hand um and it was a little difficult i won't lie so um for my patrons, I would love to make that available to you guys, okay? And if you're interested in supporting me on Patreon, that would be great. I'll put a link um, in the video someplace. If you hit the I card, then you can see it pop down. There's also a link in the description of this video. My patrons get lots of wonderful rewards, and um, without their support, I wouldn't be able to make videos. So I really appreciate them. They're the awesome. So I'll see you guys later. Have a wonderful day. Um, and let me know what you think of this beautiful peacock. Bye-bye.